Hey everyone, Red here, and we are still on the PTB, and we even got Midwitch, which also got changed, and today we're playing Nemesis, as he did receive some base kit buffs. Our mutation rate to requirement went from 6 to 5 contamination points needed, and the hindered duration from contaminating a survivor with the whip went from a quarter of a second all the way to 2 seconds, which can make all the difference. Hey, what's going on? We are also running the new Liquor Tongue, which extends that hindered effect for an additional 3 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that server alone. I don't want... Hopefully they come back. Thank you. And you can already see that hindered not giving him much value here. On top of that, I'm running Marvin's Blood. I still like it, even though it took a slight nerve since that went to base kit. Alright. Thank you. That is mine. And that survivor is back, so I don't have to worry about it. Midwitch got a lot of changes. That's why we have so many debris here in the middle of the hallways. Which is there is more of like line of sight blockers. I'll take it. Thank you very much. And the fact that I'm already tier 2 feels so nice. And with like another whip here. Oh, nice. There we go. And halfway to tier 3. So, I do think Liquor Tongue, that add-on, is going to become probably one of the most used. At least I really enjoy it. Just being able to deny most of the movement speed that survivors get when getting uh, contaminated is pretty nice. It's always been one of the big weaknesses with Nemesis. Is the fact that we always had to kind of just hold W for so long where it normally wasn't really worth hitting someone with a tentacle strike. It was normally worth just hitting them with the basic attack first. That way you put a lot of pressure on them. But now, with that, they don't really get a lot of distance. So you're kind of ready to set up a 1-2 a with time for strikes. Nice, holding it forward. I thought I could maybe clip it, but I guess not. Nice, there we go. Fake out gets them. Either way, though, I'm just pretty happy to be able to take a new look at Nemesis. Because I'm, I'm pretty hopeful these changes will make him feel all around just better. Well, that's a pretty early drop. Now what? Oh, you got balanced landing. That's what. Well, fair enough. Midwitch is another big thing I'm interested in. Oh, wait. Oh, we did go in here. Okay. I missed it. Did you say here? You did. Awesome. And we'll take it. And right away, I'm already tier 3. Hold that for me. Being able to get tier 3 early is always really helpful. Go ahead and press all the gens. I got a zombie here. Go get him, Fred. I'll wait. Oh, flashbang. Hi. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get him over here on a hook. Oh, hi. Well, unlucky for you, pretty lucky for me. I wasn't even paying attention there. No need to use a pain res right now. Being tier 3, though, is one of the things that's really obviously good for Nemesis. But being able to get it super early can make all the difference when it comes to chases. Are we going over? All right, we did save. Cool. I feel a little safer here to pick up then. You could probably swap out Marvin's blood now. We got tier 3 really, really quickly. I don't know if I really need to bring anymore, but it still feels good. So, it'll probably still be a pick for most people. But now you can definitely justify other things. Wait, I heard you. Did you own the locker? Do we have, like, decisive strike? Or are you just thinking, like, you're naturally quiet? I have no idea, but you know what? It's the PTB, and I'm waiting like 25 minutes of queue, so <laughs> we're going with it. Nice, you guys get that gen done. Midwitch is the other thing I'm kind of looking at. I don't know how I, I mean, I don't know how much, like, the ram debris helps, but you know what? It's probably better than it was before, so can't complain too much. Hi. There we go. Uh, boil over. There we go. We have one right there. We're doing pretty good. 
No, let me out. The real struggles will boil over on an indoor map. But there were three killers outside of getting the new killer who did get changes. It was Dredge, Doctor, and Nemesis. I'm hoping to cover all of them. It really just depends on queue times because they are atrocious right now. There we go. Dude, never mind. I like the uh, stuff in the middle of the map. Fred getting awesome value right there. Never get Fred value on Midwitch. The survivor has to go back for the save. And everyone else is injured, so... Steve will have to either make the swap and take a hit, or... Well, he might be there in time. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he went into the wall trying to avoid it. He was hoping she would take the hit. That is unlucky for him. I think the hindered effect being buffed so much is really nice. That way you don't have to worry as much about, like, the massive distance they'll gain. Without the tongue, though, I think it might be really hard still for them to, like, clear all the distance. Did you just distortion me? And up you go. Having the tongue add-on, though, should help out a lot with, like, how much distance they gain. But I feel like it's going to feel necessary if you're trying to, like, eliminate most of the distance. Oh, hi. I did not hear him. I just figured I chose wrong. But hey, you know what? It works. I should be able to clip here. Ooh. I didn't drag it the right way. That's okay. There we go. We won't make the same mistake twice. This group is definitely in trouble. But they are staying pretty, pretty hard on the gens, which is good. But we got one survivor out. Now, they did change Midwitch in the sense that we shouldn't have to worry about this anymore. It looks like our zombies still get stuck. That's always been an issue. If you ever get Fred or Cindy over here, just, you gotta punch them. Hopefully one day they fix that. Where are we at? Oh, hey everybody. Hold that for me. Oh no. Fred over there just getting massive value. Oh wait, that's Cindy. You know what? It's rare. Wait a second. Did you go upstairs on accident? Oh, that's unfortunate. There you go. It's so rare to get both, you know, get hits from both the zombies. Normally there's just one zombie who's just in the corner doing nothing all game. Where are we at? I brought a pretty simple build. I just figured I'd go with a little bit of regression, a little bit of aura read, and corrupt. Just so I could get a look at the... Hi, what's going on? Are we calling it? Are you Are you good? No, I'm not going to go get it. You go get it. I'll chase you, though. This should be like the last chase of the game, then, unless that guy has unbreakable. Which is kind of what we're really looking for in this gameplay. You're not going to get like crazy, crazy survivors. It's going to be like all over the place in terms of like what survivors you get just because of the way the PTB and M MMR are set up. But it still allows us to test some things out. Cool, thank you. Feel a little insulted by that, but that works for me. Now what? There we go, now let's go ahead and try and get into another game. All right, and we got Iron Works of Misery. Don't mind if I do. A little bit of lag right there, but hey, I wouldn't expect anything less from the PTB. We got a survivor over here, don't we? Has she noticed me yet? Hey, what's going on? I probably could have caught her with a basic attack. There we go, how much distance? Oh, she threw the pout instead, so not much. Nice. I wasn't really expecting her to vault that so quickly. Oh, you stayed here. Okay. Another thing I'm trying to keep in mind on is, like, eyeballing the scratch marks since they were changed. Oh, thank you. That was brave. It was one of the things I believe they worked on with this patch as well. So, they should be a little better to read. I don't, I don't know. I guess that'd be more on your guys. Hey, can you not? Had someone trying to follow me here. Hey, gamer. Boom. 
Halfway to tier three already. Look at that. It definitely helps a lot getting our power online. It makes me excited, hopefully, for a future Myers update, but I feel like he'll have to get a lot more. Especially with all the killers coming out that have multiple powers. Oof. Nice try. I'm guessing two survivors are there. I feel like we kind of started there, so they would have had to move out of the way. Oh, nice. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, this probably isn't the best way to go about this. Committed. Awesome. And there we go. Let's go throw you up on the hook. Up you go. I got a gen over here I want to kick with oppression. First, take that though. Cindy's in the wrong area. Got a fire her. Get a new one. Alright, one person over there. I know I saw someone here though. And then one removed that, so... Uh, maybe not, but he's busy on someone. Oh, hi. I didn't see him. I figured the, zo like, the zombies can chase people from, like, a long time. Little FOV tech, kind of surprise. There we go. Oh. I did not expect the pre-drop there. That is really brave. Don't do it. That was brave. And now we're two three. A little bit of pain, res action. And we're gonna try and get back over here. Uh, do we have anyone else we can chase? What's going on, buddy? Go ahead and head over there. Oh. Yeah, I was hoping I'd get a little bit closer. That's okay. A little weird on the movement. Nice. Just on the last second there. You know what? There. Have a fist. Pathing was rough. Here, hold this instead. I could go for a basic attack, but that's not exactly what we're trying to do here. I want to see more or less the contamination and the actual changes. But he didn't really get much distance, so... Like, in the normal situation, if he would have taken that, he would have gotten a lot farther. He still got to a pallet to play on, and he didn't play it right. But he would have had a little bit of extra distance compared to, to before. Oh, did we hold the round? Oh, totally missed it. I don't know how I feel about the scratch marks. I do feel like I've lost survivors a little bit more, but who knows. Is the door here? Yep, the door's there. The door's gone. Is that balance landing? No, it doesn't seem like it. Fist stuck up. There we go. Got ourselves a, a basement hook and a survivor now on death hook. One survivor over here on the gen. But I have said for years now. Hey, what's going on, dude? Hold that for me. I've said for years now that they definitely should be doing a lot more of these number changes. It's just something that I feel is a lot more on like the simpler side and should be easy to do. That's why I am finally happy that they are doing more number changes to like the perks. We see killers getting a little bit of love now. Uh, I think it can make all the world a difference. Uh, something as simple as like us having a contamination like be a little bit easier to get to like tier two and tier three. And that hindered effect for the, like, that first hit helps a lot with Nemesis early game. There we go. Please do not kill yourself on hook. I heard him miss it. I hope not. There. Like, look at where she stopped actually moving there. Gotcha. Hopefully someone gets the save over there. Thank you. Cool. One survivor running to the right. Are you guys both injured? No, no. We'll go for him. This is fine. I'm pretty heavily handing, handing this game at the moment. Or ahead. Oh, okay. Macmillan's still a little goofy, though. Very early drop. He definitely should have played on the TNL and then tried playing on the ballot afterwards. At least with not being injured. Because we've burned through so many resources already. There. But a good part of that, you pre-dropping? 
Whew. My guy went back for the free drop. That is rough. Should've just tried playing the tile. Oh, she's gonna get rid of that. Okay, we'll go over here instead. I don't think she can get over here in time. If she has a breakout, then maybe. I do hear her. We'll just try and body a blocker. There we go. How far did you get there over there on that gen? I'll cut around this way, but she probably just goes upstairs if I had to guess. Yeah, she did. I might as well. Normally I wouldn't chase this far. She did drop early. You think I can just like move out here? Huh. Well, I mean, that works for me. I might have done that a little differently. Do it. Do it. And now it's mine. Now you can't do it. And that's going to be our first survivor out of the game. We should see them. Yeah, so we should see them move over to the left here. Uh, we can go for her. This is fine. And he's over here too. Cool. Well, first we'll go for a hit. There you go. Then we'll go for you, buddy. Nice. I kind of want to hit him with the whip here and then... Or go to the corner for me. Nah, he at least kept holding forward. If he would have been able to move more into the corner, he'd get, like, no distance afterwards. Uh-oh. That's a big mistake. Happens to the best of us. All right. One survivor over here on the gen. I think it feels really good. I think it definitely solved the issue they were looking for. Cool. Like, they definitely fixed up the early game. I definitely going to have to play it a little bit more. Oh, he's he's on Aura, so at least I have an idea where he's at. I can see his head from here. He's not committing too much more to the right. Fair enough. But they definitely helped up with, like, the early game. I won't play him a little bit more when we get to live servers, and I'm not waiting so long in queues. Uh, but, I mean, they were just straight buffs, so there shouldn't really be any contention there. Now, the idea should be whether they should have buffed it more. But I think they'll be pretty good. Like, it felt pretty good with these two games. We got our Tier 3 really quickly. And they didn't get a ton of distance when running the add-on. I'll probably run uh, no add-on after. There we go. That is our look at the Nemesis buffs. Overall, they feel pretty good. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Much love, everyone. Until next time, I'm Red. And I'm signing off.